I got you there. Thanks for watching this video and for tuning in. Um, Harry Potter. <laughs> Nox. Anyway, so today I'm going to bring you five new Mandela effects and uh, one of them completely blew my mind. I know it's going to blow your mind. So uh, I can hardly wait to read your comments about it because I couldn't believe it. So, but before, um, yeah, I got many, many um, DMs about my allergy. I think I told once that I have an allergy against blue. And uh, I thought I'm going to show you what's going to happen. My cheeks really swell up so bad. And I just had to show you. So, watch out. This is something blue. And, of course, vegan. Every life matters. So, blue. Let's eat this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a bit tough. Uh -huh. What? Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, it's that. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, unbelievable, you see? Mm. Bad. Mm. Give me a second. Lumos. Buttocks disappear. Wow, well, so far so good. Well, let's see if it works. Feels good. And looks good. Wonderful. Well, yeah, so let's get started. Five new Mandela effects for you. Um, I'm just going to witch myself over there when I'm going to do the video. So, um, abracadabra. Wow. Uh, well, I'm here. Look. So, yeah. Let's talk about the new Mandela effects that I've found. And uh, let's start with number one. Yeah. In this Mandela effect, it's about the Sphinx. Now, we all know what the Sphinx is, right? I mean, I'm going to show you a picture of it. Uh, it's in Egypt, in front of the Great Pyramids. And, uh, yeah, it's a human head on a lion's body. Well, some say it's an alien head on a lion's body, but Lord knows. Um, this is not what this is all about. So, or they have not discovered aliens. But... Um, there is something about the Sphinx that I didn't even know. Because, see, I had a friend in Egypt. I think I told you about it, a pen pal. And um, he told me so much about the Great Pyramids and the Sphinx. And as far as I know, according to my memory, they've never found an entrance into the Sphinx. They were looking for it many, many years, but they've never found it. Well... As I just found out, there is an entrance, actually, into the head of the Sphinx. Right, well, if you stand in front of the Sphinx, beneath the left ear. So right here. And you can see it on the picture that I've just posted, that there clearly is an entrance. I had no idea it was there. I just knew that they were looking for it. Now, besides that entrance... There are much more little holes or, or what they dug beneath the Sphinx, obviously now. I've never heard of that either. Around the Sphinx. And inside there's supposed to be one chamber in the torso and one in the head. And tunnels. I don't know. And they're supposed to be empty. Well, I ask myself the question, if they're empty, how do they know that they're empty? If they've never been in there, because the Egyptian government... Um, doesn't allow anybody to uh, enter that, that opening into the head or any other opening. Uh, they say because they are just scared that this great monument will be damaged. Well, I can understand that in a way. But uh, if you carefully do it, there should be no problem. And how do they know it's empty if they were never in it? Well, you can clearly see that it's kind of like closed up again, that entrance, where the stones but why don't they go in i mean weird right and like i said as far as i know it was never found in the first place they were still looking for it and those openings supposed to be there since the 70s or 80s 
of the last century. So I don't know. I should have heard of that. And I haven't. So that's the Mandela effect for me. Um, and there's also a story of um, a 23-year-old Russian uh, man, it's not a boy anymore, it's a man, that said he had seen the head, the Sphinx head in Atlantis before it sank. He had a vision of that. And then they brought the head to Egypt and put it on the lion's body. Well, you know, we all heard of those kind of visions and people that talk about those kind of things. I don't believe that. Do you believe it? I don't know. He's called Bruce, Bariska? Bariska is his name. Um, yeah, look it up. Maybe you believe it. Tell me about it in the comments. Um, and yeah, like I said, um, I mean, I know the pyramids change places. The three great pyramids, two of them change places. I've talked about that in another video, but I've never heard of the, that opening or that, that entrance into the Sphinx head. And you can see even on the picture, there was, a, there was another ent entrance that they closed up and it's right on top of the Sphinx head. You can see it's like round and it has a different color than the rest of the, of the head. So you see it's been closed up and there is a picture, um, I don't know, 100 years ago or something uh, that they took and um, you can clearly see that people are climbing out of the Sphinx head. So, well, it seems like there is a chamber in it. I didn't even know that existed and I should know it because my friend Ruth told me about it, but he didn't. So what do you think? Is that a Mandela effect for you? Let me know in the comment section. Do you think the head was in Atlantis? I don't know. I guess not from my perspective because I don't believe in that. Or did aliens put it there? <laughs> Let me know what you think. Well, for me, it's a Mandela effect that this opening or the, or the other openings around the Sphinx were not there. And if that's known for 30, 40 years, then, well, you know, I should know about it. I should know about it. My friend would have told me. Uh, like I said, in my memory, they were still looking for an entrance, but they never found one. Now it's there and very visible. Look at the picture. You can see it. So, yeah, that's it for the first Mandela effect. Let's get to the second one. Well, let's talk about the second Mandela effect. Actually, um, that's about Mount Rushmore in America. Well, I've talked about that before. It changed, you know. It seems like people are working on it. And the more I keep looking at Mount Rushmore, the more it will change. Um, I don't know why that is. I mean, seriously, they're not working on it anymore. But there's clearly a difference from the one that like that they're showing now and the one on pictures from let's say the 80s. I show you both pictures right now. First the one um, from today and then the second one from 30 years ago or something 30, 40 years ago. Let's do that now. Yeah, as you can see, there's clearly a difference, right? I mean, that's not the same. I mean, it looks like Washington's, you know, coat is just gets more and more detailed. And um, Abraham Lincoln's head gets much more like, it seems like they're still working on this. Even the hand visible on some pictures and the hand was not visible, you know, in old pictures. And it seems to change more and more the more you look at it. Um, Every few months when I kind of like look at pictures of Mount Rushmore, it seemed to look different. So um, what do you think? I mean, do you see a difference between the one that's been taken in the 80s that I've shown you and the one that's been taken now? I mean, like it, it looks really much more detailed and like they're working on it and they're not. So that is strange. I mean, for me, that's weird. I mean, this See the things that, that you know have been changed already by the Mandela effect and you look at them again, you see them changing more. And um, we'll talk about that in the, I think it's the next or the next Mandela effect or the one after that. Um, yeah, but, but this is weird for me. Mount Rushmore is something that, uh, like the Statue of Liberty, is constantly changing. I mean, I talked about the Statue of Liberty that it's now on Liberty Island and for me it was on Alice Island, like for many people. 
and so many other Mandela effects about the Statue of Liberty. And the same goes for Mount Rushmore. It's keep, it keeps on changing. Like, it doesn't stop. Tell me about it. You know, look at the pictures. I want to know what you think about it. If you see the difference like I do, uh, maybe you have information that I don't. You know, maybe you know that they're still working on it. But if not, then what? The Mandela Effect did it again, I suppose, and is still doing it. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Comment section. Next one. Well, let's get to number three. Well, we all know Sesame Street, right? I've watched that, like, as a child, continuously. So, and this Mandela Effect kind of blew me away because I should know this character. Like I said, I've watched it as a child all the time, and I don't remember it. It's a mammoth, and it's called, well, the full name would be, oh my God, Snuffleupagus or something like that, where Snuffles, as they call it, obviously, and it's a Mr. and Mrs. Snuffles. I've never heard of that. I've never seen that character in the show. When I found out about this one, that blew my mind. Um, not quite as much as the fifth one on this list, but this is really weird for me because I should remember that character and I just don't. I really don't. Um, I mean, it's been there, they say, since the 1970s. So, I mean... As a child watching this, you know, no matter when you watched it, you know, even 20 years later or something, you should know about this character. I know every other one, Big Bird and, you know, but, but I don't remember Snuffles. I don't remember him or his wife. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be part of Sesame Street for a very long time. Do you remember Snuffles? I mean, this mammoth? I've never heard of it. I've never seen it. I don't remember it. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just black it out. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, I, I just I, I can't believe it. That that's a you know a series I've always watched as a child. I'm not watching it anymore, obviously. But you know, I should know this. I mean, and I don't. I really don't. I wonder if you do. Uh, maybe some of you will say, or probably most of you will say, yes, I remember this character. But I, like I said, I can't remember it. Tell me what you think about it. If you heard of this, this character from Sesame Street, and uh, maybe you have information I don't, as I always say. I'm not ruling out that it's just really, that I just don't remember it. Um, but when I found out about this yesterday, I was really shocked. I couldn't believe it. So, give me your opinion in the comment section. The next Mandela Effect. Number four. Well, I've talked about this again like uh, Mount Rushmore, um, but it's a continuous change. And this is about the world map, continents and islands. I mean, you know, it's weird. I mean, Australia keeps on moving to the north. Now it's nearly touching the Philippines. And uh, I mean, it's so little space in between. And I remember this being so much wider. And New Zealand keeps on moving to the to the south. And it's now nearly like, you know, deeper than, than uh, Australia. I can put a picture of the world map on uh, in this video and I will right now. Uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, for me, that changed a lot. I mean, like, New Zealand was up here, Australia down there, and now it's like this. And now Fiji moved to the east. So that is weird. I mean, you know, of course, you know, uh, continents and islands change their position in millions of years, but not within five or six years, since the Mandela effect really took off in 2015. And um, this is strange. I mean... You know, and there, there are so many YouTube channels that just address this subject about um, continents and islands are moving and changes, uh, you know, on the world map. 
like the Bering Sea. I mean, now it has so many little islands that nearly touch Russia now. So like, you know, and I don't even remember them being there or that long, you know, just this ring of islands. And then um, Alaska and Siberia nearly touching. It's not much, much space anymore in between. Now in the winter time, when, when the Bering Sea freezes up up there, you can basically walk across. I mean, that I don't remember that being this way. Do you remember that? That is completely new for me. Um, and so many other islands and things are changing. And like I said, you find so many YouTube channels that are talking just about this subject. The more you look at it, the more it keeps changing. Like, Mar like Mount Rushmore, it's the same thing. And uh, it's an ongoing process, obviously. Lord knows why it's happening so fast and that it happens at all. I mean, this is like, I, I really want to know what you remember about the continents and their positions and all of that. Like South America, it seemed to have moved to the, to the West because it was much more, uh, you know, no, wait, it moved to the East, <laughs> different, moved to the East. Um, it was never a straight line with America at the end. It was always a bit like uh, different, but now it's very strange. Look, it doesn't look real anymore, you know? It, it looks like, it starts to look like a new world in a way. Like it changes to something new very fast. And uh, I wonder if you see it the same way. Let me know in the comment section and uh, while well, I keep you up to date, um, if I see something else, that is changing and it will change obviously because uh, like I said so many other channels are pointing out those those changes and it's very interesting to watch and um, yeah the things you'll find out you won't believe sometimes sometimes you know them sometimes and you remember it that way and sometimes you don't well that's the Mandela effect let me know what you think about this one and um, leave me a comment <sighs> up to the next I'm starting to sweat here <laughs> The last one, and that one will blow your mind. I guarantee that. Now, well, the last Mandela effect for today. And this one, like I said, blew my mind completely. I mean, this is so strange. When I've heard about this one, I thought, okay, now I'm losing my mind. And I'm serious. I mean, this is so weird. So weird. Um... I don't know how this can even be. Why are we talking about the banana? For everyone, you know, who doesn't know what the banana is, I'm going to show you a picture of it now. Well, uh, yeah. How do they grow for you in your memory? They grow from top to bottom. Or from the bottom to the top. Well, in my memory, they grow from the top to the bottom. It makes sense, you know. I mean, we're talking here about gravity. I mean, a banana, as it grows, is not light, right? It has a weight to it. So why should it grow against gravity? I mean, it doesn't make any sense, right? For it to grow upwards, like they say, now it's growing upwards it doesn't make any sense at all and I'll show you a picture of it right now so you see I'm, I'm telling the truth that's what they're saying now that it grows from the from it grows upwards but in my memory it grows downwards you know which, like I said, makes sense. We're talking about gravity and everything, you know, <laughs> that is getting bigger with time and, you know, gravity will pull it down, right? So, you know, why should a banana do the exact opposite? I mean, that looks weird. It sounds weird. It's not in my memory like that. I don't remember it really, it, that it grows upwards. It grows downwards. I mean, why should that make any sense, right? What do you remember? Everybody I ask around me, you know, my family, friends, 
how does a banana grow? They all, all say downwards, you know, like, mm, why should it grow like that? That doesn't make any sense, really, that it grows upwards now. And Google it. Believe me, I didn't believe it in the first place. When, when I heard about this, I had to Google it. And I did not find one picture where it grew downwards. They all, every picture is it, it, like that now, it's growing upwards, which looks ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. Like I said, there's gravity on this planet or, you know, Lord knows we all wish it wouldn't be because some things would stay up. that's supposed to stay up. And thank God in my case, they're still up there. But, but the banana should grow downwards and not upwards. Like I said, to me, it looks ridiculous. Take a look at it. I've showed it to you. One picture. Google it. If you don't believe me, I did not turn that picture around. That's how they're growing now. What do you think about it? Let me know. Please let me know. Because I feel like I'm going crazy. Um, this is weird. Just weird. Um, yeah. That was it. Five Mandela Effects. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, while I'm having my one tear, Loomis. So I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to be with you. Okay, let me see if I can do this. Use some magic here. Subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up. What else? Share the video, share the video, share the video, leave a comment. What else? Um, hit that notification bell. <laughs> so you know when the next video is uploaded. Stay safe, be happy. I send you love. I send you everything you dreamed of. And uh, watch my other videos. Yeah, so now that all of that is said and done, I'm very glad. I can hardly wait to see you next time. Give me your opinion. And now I'm just gone. Bye-bye. Noxt.